What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. But today we got a pretty good video for you. I'm actually going to be debadging the truck. I mean it kind of applies to any kind of car like it would go the same for the Altima or the Jeep if it had badges. But I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be getting rid of the side molding, getting rid of the glue on that, show you how to do that and then the rear Chevrolet emblem and all that stuff and be taking that off. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and right before we jump into it, Please make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Like the video, drop a comment below if you have any questions about what I'm doing today. And I'll touch back on this at the end of the video. But let's get started on this and uh, let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna just pull these off. When it comes to these, or like side molding or anything, mostly you can just peel it off. I already peeled it off on the other side. Just be careful because I mean, mine's a pretty old truck. So, I mean, it comes off fairly easy. If you have like a newer truck, I don't know how strong that adhesive is gonna be, so I'd be careful with your paint. But just go slow and easy with it, and you, you'll be all right. Now, we got the siding off, and you can just pull that stuff off, but when it comes to this, I think I can just because how weak this is. I mean, it's coming up with my nail, but I'm going to show you a way that most everybody does it that'll work on anything like new from that or new that or like an actual new, new truck or car. And then, I mean, you've got the two different kinds of that. You got that, that, and then you got these where like this was from, a, I guess at one point, a car lot. And these, you literally just get your finger in there and you can just pull these off not very hard at all i've already pulled off the six but so that that one's not bad to remove the adhesive from that i got a uh one of these the 3m eraser wheels and they're uh, i picked this up at autozone they're not cheap this one was like 40 45 dollars i think so so if i can help it i want to use it as little as possible because I don't want to have to go buy another one. So I'm just going to peel that, peel that off of my hand. Uh, try to clean up as much as I can by hand first and then come back with the eraser wheel because I know I'm not going to be able to get all of, all of it off. So I'm going to show you the other trick to get this stuff off and then I'll kind of clean it up a little bit, get it as clean as I can. And then we'll come back with the 3M wheel and hopefully knock all that junk off and get it looking good. I don't know what he's doing back there, but let's get to it. All right, so here I am at my Silverado. I actually ended up finding some fishing line because, I mean, this is kind of cool. I kind of can save this and maybe do something cool with it. So I found that. So you just get it like that and you'll just work your way up and down on it and just kind of keep doing that and it'll cut its way through all the glue back there that'll probably happen a couple times but just get new line if you have that much and it'll you'll be able to get through it there's that and now we've got all this that you can use some heat I've heard and melt this and pull it up but I got that 3m wheel so I'm just gonna do that Hopefully this one will be a lot quicker it doesn't seem as like as much adhesive because that one was more of a solid thing oh yeah this one this one's going a lot easier And there we go. So that one was actually really, really easy because as you can see, there's like a whole bunch of holes in it. So it's just tiny little pieces of adhesive as 
opposed to that one, which was basically a solid adhesive. But all that's good now, so put these up, maybe do something with these in the future, I don't know, but now I'll clean these up, get all this nastiness, especially with that eraser wheel, you don't wanna be forcing all this dirt and everything in there. And uh, I guess start getting to a racer wheel in it. All right, so I'm about to do something that um, not a lot of people would do to their car. So if you have a newer car, do not do this step. Do a different step. Um, but this is just a work truck. Paint's bad anyways. If I mess it up, probably in the future, it's probably going to end up getting repainted anyways. Maybe not. I don't know. But all I'm going to do is fill up this bucket with some water and I've got like a like a brand new tire scrub brush that I've never used before I say brand new because I mean, I've had it for a couple months I've never used it and I'm just gonna lightly go around where the adhesive is try to knock off some of that dirt so I'm gonna get to doing that and I'll show you what that looks like right, so here I am I'm gonna Kind of dip this in some water and then lightly you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it just enough to where it'll get into all the little crevices where there could be dirt and get it off this will also knock off a little bit of the glue too so again if you just have a, a car that you don't really care about i mean not that you don't care about but like an older truck like this paint's already not that great it just won't bother it. Won't make the paint any worse. Won't make it any better. It'll just kind of do what it needs to do. So I think that's about as clean as I'm going to get it. I'll probably pour some water on that. Wipe it down real good. But the real kicker. I've already done the passenger side. Remember this thing? It almost makes me really happy I peeled them off because who knows, maybe a little longer. It would have started rusting under here with all this nastiness. I mean, I don't religiously clean my truck, but I mean, I keep it clean enough where it should not have been that dirty under here. Like I said, some of this will come off real, real easy, but I'm still gonna race a wheel all of it. So now I got my 3M wheel hooked up. It comes with a with the uh, drill attachment uh, in the package. So you just attach it to your drill, and then let's see how this thing works.
as you can see, I got all that off. Uh, there's still some, like you see some scratches. I think that's just from where maybe dirt was sitting on it from before and it just scratched it up. And then I had some pieces peel off here, but that's nothing that some touch up can't fix. But all in all, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. So I'm gonna go around, get this off the back. And then I'll probably do off camera doing the other side. Cause I mean, it's, it's just the same process, but I'll get this done. And then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I just did the pinstripe. This is on the passenger side. Uh, you still see a little bit of it. I think it just needs a good wash. Cause I mean, all this stuff's still around. Uh, I'll definitely probably, I don't think we get to it in this video. I'll definitely probably do a wash and then definitely kind of do like a review on it. Show how it's getting. You get all this stuff all over you from the, just the adhesive and everything turns white from the racer wheel but so far i mean there's a the passenger side I still see a little bit of it like i said it probably just needs still would be a good wash and it should get rid of the rest of it but i'm gonna go to the driver's side do that other pinstripe and then do the back i'm saving the back because like i said i'm getting a new tailgate anyway so if i run out of a racer wheel i'd rather get all the body and everything done but if i have enough i'll go ahead and do the tailgate but let me go around, do the driver's side, and then I'll get around to doing that, and then I should be done, and then I'll walk around the truck, show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I got the driver's side pin side off, or the driver's side pin stripe, and uh, I don't know if maybe I, because it's facing the sun, but this one actually came off a lot easier, like there's no residue at all left on that. Um, so maybe I might turn it around and try to get that other pin stripe, because I think maybe just kind of let it bake in the sun a little bit, softens it up. But, I mean, that looks great. Like I said, I might turn it around, try to re-get this side, because, I mean, as you can see, there's still a lot of residue. So, but, I mean, I'm, I'm still happy with it. There's still a whole bunch of, there's still a whole bunch of the, the 3M wheel left, so it's like, I mean, it's not like I can't just go back around it. From what I was reading, it's just like, you're gonna need two or three wheels to do everything but so far i haven't i don't even think i've used half of this yet so it won't be a big deal to go back over it uh, i'll try to go back over it again turn the truck around let it bake for a little bit and go back. well i think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video guys uh like i said it still needs a little bit there's still a little bit of residue on here but i'm just gonna wait for that to heat up and then try to get that off the driver's side looks great um i think that's because it was already baking but i mean that's all gone even this, I think it just needs a good wash. Probably after a good pressure wash, actual wash with soap. It'll all look a lot better. But like I said, that's going to be it. So if you like the video, subscribe. Hit that like button. If you had any questions about anything that I did, leave a comment down below. I'll answer them as best I can. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.